Okay, so we've got another energy problem. Let's say that we have a kind of a slide that goes like this. And we've got a box at the top here. And the initial box the initial velocity of the box is zero. And when it gets to the bottom, same box is traveling at a speed of the final velocity being three meters per second. Now the height of this slide is eight meters. And we also know that the mass of this block is five kilos. The question that we'd like to ask is how much energy is lost to friction? So this is kind of an interesting question. Let's try and see if we can figure this out from a perspective of what would happen if there wasn't any friction. So we know that the, the box is starting up here at a height of eight and coming down here and it's going uh, three. But let's just kind of try and disregard the three for a moment and say, well, how fast should it be going? And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna say that uh, let's we can do that actually in a number of ways but one easy way that I like to do it would be to use e conservation of energy so if if there was conservation of energy now in this case uh, there isn't we 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 are it's not really correct to say we're not losing energy it's not like we're destroying energy it's just that energy is being transferred into heat uh, of friction but if we did this, then we could say, all right, what, what type of energy does it have here initially? Well, so the only thing it's got is gravitational potential energy. And we'll say that here at the bottom, that's a height of zero. So uh, finally, it doesn't have any gravitational potential energy. It's got kinetic energy, OK? And so we could say, all right, well, mgh equals one half mv squared. And we could go ahead and solve this now. L look, we don't actually need the mass. And what it turns out to be is that we get the square root of 2gh is equal to v. So let's work this out. The square root of 2 times 9.8 meters per second squared times a height of eight meters, that's gonna give us, get our trusty RPN calculator out, two enter 9.8 times eight times, take the square root of that, and we get 12.5. So, that's how fast it should be going, okay? It should be going 12.5, but it's not. It's only going three. So, how much energy was lost? Well, guess, guess what? We can say the work lost to friction is equal to the change in kinetic energy from what it should have been to what it actually is. Okay? Be careful when you do this, though, in that don't go one half and put a bracket and go uh, v final minus v initial. You've got to be careful because this is actually like this. This is the right way of doing it. And then you can actually factor out the one half m. And now you get this. And so we'll get one half times 5 kilos, that's the mass, times the final velocity of 12.5 squared minus 3 squared, and we get a total of 
uh, let's work this out. 12.5 squared minus, uh, so 9 minus, that's 3 squared, and then 5 times, 0.5 times. Okay, so we're getting an answer of 368 joules. So, uh, this 368 joules, that's the answer. That's how much energy is lost to friction. But I wonder if there's another way of doing this. And th actually there is. And what you can do is you can actually m kind of modify this equation to express what it really means. And you can express it like this, plus work gained. Now, sometimes you have work gained. That could be, let's say, from a fuel. Um, and now you finish off the equation. And then, of course, you say, well, you can also lose work to something like friction. So this is usually friction, the loss. In this case, there was no gain. There was no rocket or fuel or engine pushing. And initially, there was no kinetic energy. So let's go ahead and cancel that one out, cancel that one out. Finally, there was no gravitational potential energy because it was at zero height. And so let's see if we can rewrite this equation. This is mgh is equal to 1 half mv squared plus work lost. And so what we would do is we would say uh, mgh minus 1 half mv squared is equal to the work that's lost. And hence, <coughs> if we do a little simplification here and let's say uh, factor out the m, and we'd go like this, like this, like this. What's that going to equal? Well, that's 5 kilos times 9.8 times a height of 8 minus 1 half times 3 squared. Let's see what we get. 9.8 Enter, 8 times, 0.5, enter, 9 times, subtract, 5 times. And lo and behold, we get 369.5, which is the same as what we got before. It was just a rounding error at that Okay, we can just go approximately 368 as before. So there's a couple of different ways of doing it. Personally, I like the second method better. The first method seems kind of like a an exception situation, whereas the second method, so here is the divider for the two methods. The second method I find uh, works all the time and I don't really have to think too much about the question. Well, thanks for watching this video. See you next time.